A typical day at the Fort Worth Zoo includes connecting with wildlife, learning about conservation, while making memories with friends and family. What some people don't know is that we have some animals that permanently live behind the scenes. Today, we're going to hear an amazing story about one of those animals. Ramses was born on April 12th, 1971, and is currently the oldest silverback in the world. At age 21, he was transferred to the Fort Worth Zoo from Cincinnati on November 5th, 1992. For the last 30 years, Ramses and his female partner, Amani, have been living a safe and happy life here at the zoo. But recently, their age and their health started to decline. Some tough decisions had to be made in order to give this unbreakable pair the best life possible. So as an aged couple, we decided to retire them into the back because gorillas, gorillas have the same problems that humans have as they age. They start to lose their eyesight, they start to lose their hearing, they start to get arthritis, all the, all the stuff that people in their golden years goes through. We noticed the difference in her eyes themselves and she ended up, she has macular degeneration. So there's nothing we can really do about that. Um, if we were able to cure her, we probably would have tried. So Amani, we were afraid for Amani in the atrium exhibit that she would hurt herself in there. And even Ramsey at his age, he's starting to get a little cataracts himself, you know. So Amani, we were afraid for Amani in the atrium exhibit that she would hurt herself in there. So we decided to retire her to the back area. and. She and Ramsey have been together their entire lives. So we thought it wouldn't be fair to separate them and put him on exhibit and keep her off in the back holding because each one of them would be alone. So we retired him with her. And they live in the back area. They have a nice big holding cage in the back and they have an off exhibit outside area. So they can go out and get sunshine. We call it the lanai. And Ramsey goes out there and it's like a little old man sitting on a rocking chair. He's just hanging out, enjoying the sunshine, napping in the shade. Um, he absolutely loves it. And they can get their vitamin D and fresh air. <laughs> so they're retired back there and they're doing quite well for themselves. And um, we absolutely love him. He does some wonderful cooperation when we're doing medical training for him. Primates are susceptible to the same diseases that people are. He'll open his mouth so we can look at his mouth and check out his teeth. On their nail trimming, he will get his nails trimmed. He gets a mani-pedi every so often. He'll put his toes out and his fingers out and he'll let us trim them. So he helps us with his care. Since he's not on exhibit, he doesn't have a schedule like they used to have. We have to have our animals out for the zoo opening at 10 o'clock. Ramsey, he can, he can take it easy if he wants. He's having a good day or if he's having a bad day, we, we coddle him basically. Um, being in the back area, we're able to keep a closer eye on him during the day and make sure that he's, he's doing okay. So we get to see him more and we get to interact with him more and we can judge how he's doing better. Silverbacks will go into their 30s, you know, mid-30s, late 30s. Some of them go into their 40s, but 52, 52 is, is really, really good. Um, the oldest silverback that ever lived uh, was 60. He made it to 60. So at 52, that makes Ramsey now the oldest. So he's plugging along. He looks great. He acts great. Um, he just doesn't seem like he looks like he's 52. <laughs> so we do make sure they get their exercise and they're not just sitting around all day and doing nothing. We make sure that they get up and they get moving and we get them to climb. That's also another good way for us to uh, assess how they're feeling by how well they can manage the steps. In the cage, the steps that go up to the top level, those were actually installed for them. 
because they were getting older. So that cage was modified for older animals. They act like an old married couple. He also, I think, is aware that she has poor eyesight because he's kinder to her now. He's, he's gentler with her. Um, he'll wait on her. He'll put his arm around her and kind of guide her a little bit when she needs it. Um, he didn't do that when he was 20. <laughs> he, he, uh, he was every man for himself. We still separate them when we feed them their fruit because even though he loves her dearly, he's still a gorilla and he would take all her food. <laughs> And you know, retirement, me and Ramsey, we both grew old together. Um, <laughs> retirement's not looking that bad. But uh, yes, he's been here since 1992. So I've been with Ramsey uh, longer than I've been married. Mm. So <laughs> we have a relationship for a long, long time. And I'm gonna do the best I can for him till the very end.